Hi everyone, my name is David Terrio and I'm the student teacher coordinator at Fountain Valley High School. Um, we're really lucky here at Fountain Valley High School we have a student teacher coordinator position and um, we've had the student teacher coordinator position for about 20 years. It's a Fountain Valley High School barren tradition started by John Boveberg and continued on by Annalise Winkle and John Lloyd and others and I am the current student teacher coordinator and one of the concerns I get all the time from students and from parents is why does my kid have a student teacher in the class? And I'd like to address those. I would like to tell you six, six reasons why student teachers are important to have in the classroom. So I want you to imagine this conversation going on at home right now. A uh, kid comes home. <laughs> I have a middle school kid, so I'm familiar with this. And uh, your kid comes home and he's like, uh, hey dad, how's it going? And you're like, oh great. And you're sitting around at the dinner table and you ask them, how's your school day? And of course they go fine. And you're like, oh, did anything new happen? And your kid says, no. And then you say, oh, no, nothing new, nothing exciting. He's like, oh, well, we're going to have a student teacher next semester. Now at this point, you can have a lot of thoughts in your head. Uh, one, if your kid and you didn't like the teacher that they currently had, you might be experiencing some joy or some hope. Um, but probably more often than not, you're a little bit worried because there's a person uh, who has no experience teaching at all who is going to be in your classroom or in your student's classroom, and the students are a little worried too. Nobody likes uncertainty. Nobody likes to change or adapt, um, and so you're all a little bit concerned. So the first reason why student teachers are really important and why student teaching is really important is the, there's been national research done showing that the student teacher experience is by far the most important thing that goes on in the student teacher's credentialing program. Um, every single student teacher says they learn so much from the student teacher experience. There's really no better way to filter out, to mold, to find good teachers than the student teacher practice. Um, it's really, it's been working for us for a long time. It's what we do. We let go of student teachers all the time. And so if somebody makes it through student teaching, you're really assuring them and the community, parents, other schools that this teacher who's standing in front of you in an interview has a certain basic level of competency. And I think that's really important for all of us as uh, members of the community and uh, as members of our educational system. Number two, we conducted a survey uh, quite a few years ago and we asked students what their favorite part of Fountain Valley High School was. And this was an open-ended survey. They could have said anything at all that they wanted. They could have said lunch or the end of school is my favorite part of school, but they didn't. What they said was that teachers were their favorite part of school, specifically Fountain Valley High School teachers. Um, what's really unique is because of the student teacher program we have here, we have a student teacher academy, we have quite a few student teachers. Over half of the teachers on this campus were student teachers on this campus. And there is nothing like being able to watch somebody work alongside of you for five months or so to see whether or not they'd be a good fit for your school, for your values, um, for the subjects that you need to teach. It's a, it's a really awesome opportunity to poach the best. Um, and that's why all schools should have student teachers, especially if they're going to have openings. And even if you're not going to have student teachers on your campus, I would highly recommend go, admin, uh, district personnel, whatever, going to schools that have student teachers and watching them in practice before they come to your interview table. Instead of putting together a fake class for an interview, why not go out to the schools and observe the student teachers? Every single district should be having somebody who kind of goes out there like a scout or a recruiter and takes a look at what's the current talent out there and who do we want to recruit. Um, imagine what that would do to our campuses instead of just counting on interviews and resumes. Um, number three, student teachers bring new ideas to the school. Um, student teachers are learning the latest techniques, they're reading the latest research, um, they're in this kind of lab environment or they're talking to professional teachers and they're talking to other teachers and they're reading and they're talking and then they come into my classroom and they try new stuff out. I, I tell all my student teachers I want you to treat this as a lab experience, I want you to try new things and I poach ideas for my student teachers all the time. It uh, invigorates me as a master teacher. I'm a better teacher as a result of my master teacher experience. They also, um, they make me reflect on my practice because I have to explain to them why we do things. And um, they remind me what's important in my practice, like what things do they do that are really important.
Um, even if Fountain Valley itself, like let's say I have a student teacher, and we don't hire that student teacher. You're like, okay, great. You know, uh, my kid had your student teacher, and we didn't hire him. So how did we benefit? Well, they're gonna benefit a school somewhere else. And so student teaching is a form of community altruism that we're doing something nice for communities that are in our own communities. I think that's a really important, it's an American value. Americans do things for people. They do things for other countries. They do things for people who are in trouble or in time of need or who have other needs or things like that. That's, that's an American value to help other people. And so having student teachers on our campus helps other schools, helps other students uh, in the future. And I think that's a really good thing. Um, all, all teachers, all good teachers, all great teachers started as a student teacher somewhere. And so I want to thank all the students and the parents and the community members who allowed their, allowed that to happen and that their kid was kind of, not a guinea pig, but, but uh, had that experience instead of a, an experienced teacher. Um, before we take a student teacher under our wing, this is reason number six here. Uh, before we take a student teacher under our wing, we interview them and we make sure they're a fit for our school, our particular subject, and our teaching philosophy. I will not take any student teacher unless I feel like they're going to do what I want them to do and how I want them to do it. And so you can be assured if I have a student teacher, they're going to kind of be like a little mini me, like a little mini Terrier. Um, Sean Zebarth on our campus was my student teacher. Stephen Schultz on this campus was my student teacher. Minnie Ziegler, our current department coordinator, was my student teacher. And all of them, even though they teach differently than me, there's a little part of Terrio that they carry in their teaching. And I think that that's a really neat thing that student teachers can carry on. I mean, your, your master teachers are supposed to be your, your, you know, your good teachers on campus, hopefully your best teachers on campus. I'm not saying I'm the best, but I'm just saying, it, you know, the principal is supposed to be picking uh, good master teachers. And what a great opportunity to spread their ideas, their philosophy, hopefully their work ethic and everything else to a brand new teacher and have that continue on. One day I'm going to retire, but there'll be little Terrio apostles everywhere, kind of spreading the word and, and showing the importance of loving students and, and treating them like they're important now, not uh, as, as some kind of potential for later. So that's the sixth reason why uh, student teaching is important. Now, why am I making this video right now? Well, I'm making this video because we had a final with my first period class the other day, and we had some technical problems, and we were doing presentations on our blogs. And we had to make, I had to make sure every single one of my students got through their final. And the reason is because I'm not going to be in class with you guys on Tuesday. Um, on Tuesday, you guys are going to have uh, a student teacher, um, Ms. Marley, and uh, she's going to be awesome. I spent a whole day Saturday with her at Camp LA, and she's wonderful. She is a Fountain Valley grad. She is a coach here. She knows the, the culture and the climate. She's really excited to, to work with you guys. Um, I hope you guys uh, treat her nicely and with respect uh, and with kindness the way you would treat any, any person and that you'll help her discover what it means to be a great teacher. I'm not going to be, you know, leaving or abandoning you. You'll see me in the classroom regularly. There will be days when I substitute teach for her. She's got meetings to go to or an interview to go to. Um, so you'll see me. You'll see me in the hallways, and maybe one day, hopefully, you'll have me again in the future. Um, if you didn't like my class, well, then today is your lucky day. Uh, P.S. We're going to be continuing the blog. So there you have it, folks six reasons why it's important for your son or daughter to have a student teacher in school. I hope this was informative, and uh, if you want, you can check me out. I'm on Twitter at DavidTEDU, um, or you can see my blog, TheReadinessIsAll.com. I have another blog, IdeaFM.org, and uh, feel free to contact me. Students, you can leave comments below this video, and uh, I'll see you when I see you. Love you guys. Bye.